Hello and welcome to our mobile builder series. My name is David Ha and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today we'll be walking through the very first few steps in building a basic related list. We're going to build a related list so that allows users to pull related information from a record. For this example, we'll pull related information from incidents to get task SLAs. By doing this, it'll be easy for us to open up a record and quickly navigate to task SLAs of that incident in just a few seconds. To be able to navigate from our active instance applet to its task SLAs, we need to first build a new applet for task SLAs. We're going to then enable a related list screen on that active instance applet. And then lastly, configure the related list screen so that we can navigate to the task SLAs applet from our active instance applet. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is quickly build a new task SLA list applet. We'll start off by creating a parameterized data item. Let's open one up now. We'll name it task SLA. We'll pull from the task SLA table. And then we'll save. Next, let's add a parameter. Let's call it task ID. It'll be a string type field and we'll save this as well. This parameter will be a placeholder variable to take users from the active instance applet to the task SLA table. On our query condition, we'll go ahead and associate the task field to the task ID parameter that I just created using this contextual reference icon. We'll match task to task ID, and then we'll save that. And now we have our parameterized data item. Our next step is to create an applet with this data item. So what we wanna do now is create a list applet showing five fields for task number, task date, task, actual last percentage, and actual last time. Let's go ahead and create a new applet. We'll name this task SLA. This will be a list applet, and then we'll click create new. We'll pick the parameterized data item that we just created, which is task SLA. And now we use our slush bucket to bring over the fields that we want on our list. For this first layer view, let's first change the header pattern by clicking the button here. We'll choose the second pattern and then click done. And now our header pattern will only contain five fields. For the first field, we'll bring over task number. We'll dot walk from task to task number. We'll also bring over task state, the task itself, actual last percentage, as well as actual last time. For the second layer view, in our details tab, Let's change the header pattern here as well to the second one. And then we'll replicate from primary. And in the body, we'll bring over start time, breach time, as well as actual time left. And once we're done, we'll go ahead and click save. So what we've built just now is a simple list applet where the user has to type in the task ID of an incident to get its task SLA. If you look at our mobile app, let's go ahead and refresh the home screen. We'll click into our mobile builder and then into task SLA. It will ask for the task ID. As you can see, this isn't very helpful since most users won't be able to memorize the task ID, but it's a good indication of what we've built so far is working. So what we want to do now is to be able to open up the related list of my active instance applet have it automatically pass the task ID into our task SLA applet, and then open up the task SLA of an incident. So let's go back into Studio to hide our task SLA applet. In the top right, there's a display toggle in which if we toggle this off, it'll prevent it from being displayed. We'll then go ahead and save. Going back to our mobile device, we'll do a quick refresh from the home screen. We'll click into Mobile Builder and now we no longer see our task SLA applet. Now that we've hidden our applets, let's bring in over a related list on active instance applet and define the related list. Let's first open up the active instance applet. We'll go into properties. We'll make sure to bring over the related list. We'll click save. Now we have a related list tab. Here we can define a new related list. 
important to know that you can only create a related list if the tables for the data items that you create for each applet have a relationship with each other. For the relationship, you can only select the relationships that exist between the two data items. For this example, a relationship will be task SLA to task. And the destination will be the task SLA applet that we just created. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and save and then open this up on our device. Let's go back to our mobile app. We'll refresh the home screen. We'll open up Mobile Builder into Active Instance. We'll tap the first instant. We'll open up the related list screen. And immediately, we see that there's a couple of task SLAs associated with this instant. If we tap into it, we'll see that there's a couple of data items there. And if we drill into the first one, we'll see the details that we configured as well. And in just minutes, we just created our very first related list. As you can see, they can be configured to allow users to get quick access to related information and reports. This wraps up our quick introduction to related list. Thank you for watching.